things then. Mm. Yeah. And for me, that's that's the scary part. Yeah. I want them to be even better than I am. Oh. You know, I want them to be themselves and and, and grow. Really, yeah. You know? So that's what's scary for me. Because I mean, I'm, I'm not perfect, right? For sure, we we're not all perfect, exactly. hey. And when someone puts you in that pedestal, yeah, you're kind of like, like mm. the pressure. I get it. I get it. <laughs> what about them? Um, made you stop and pay attention and say, I am actually invested yeah. in, in all of you. I think it was a connection. I believe if you're going to sing, you need to touch me somehow. Sure. You know, so for me, it's not really about what a beautiful voice you have. I, we, the connection needs to be there. I need to connect with you, mm. you know, emotionally. Mm. And, and I got that from them. Aspele Langa is also a song Ooh. that connects and touches right. many, many people. Because the one thing that we all know is the loss right. of a loved one. We all we share all, that. And we all share that. And we feel it when we've come together at right. family gatherings and True. we say, Uzban banageko, Aspelelanga. You know what I mean? Yeah. So talk to me about that song. My dad absolutely oh, wow. loves it. Wow. Loves, loves, loves that song. So I was, I was um, recording my current album. Um, and and funny enough, this is the last song on the album. Wow. It's, it's track twelve, yeah. and it's the last song that I that I recorded. Yeah. So I was just sitting there and thinking of of just the guys that came before us. You know, the guys that made all of this possible. Mm. You know, Oak Brenda Farsi, um, Ray Peary. I mean, the list is is endless. So I was just thinking of of the sacrifices that they had to sure. do. You know, um, and I thought to myself, let me do something to say thank you mm. to them. Mm. So for me, it, as Langa wasn't supposed to be a hit. It was a thank you song, you know. Mm. Um, and then all of a sudden, and I remember we were pushing another song. We were pushing Usezo um, Ndibona featuring Zahara. Because mm. to me, that was the December song. That was song. the hit. That was the December song, yeah. you know. Um, and I remember the first time I heard radio playing that song, I was like, I was angry guys you were angry i was angry because for me i felt like we're pushing this song help us push this song Why now are you there's playing? two songs it's, playing yeah, on radio yeah, at the yeah, same yeah, yeah, time yeah, you're confusing so i was really angry but then at some point i was like nah it's, it's not about you it is about the people out there that are listening to mm, the music and the mm. people that buy, that buy the music mm. so i've got really the whole of south africa to thank for the success of because I would have never made a single. Yes. Never. Ever. Never. So, you know, that's the thing. that There's a science and there's a business behind right. music. Right. And you see a song and you spot a song and you're like, okay, this is the one that we're pushing. But it's the South Africans it's that say... It's the people. Say, Actually, Fusi... Actually not. No, not this <laughs> Can one. Can we have that one? But this one, you know. Has, has that ever happened as, as well? Another song in your career it's, where you're Yeah, like, but not mm. to this level. Right? This was crazy. This was... The song is like an, it's like our national anthem, if you think about it right now. Simple, full stop. You know, full stop, full and, stop. And that's why I say I've got literally you guys, you know, the radio stations out there, um, TV, and just the people of South Africa to, to thank for all of this. Yeah. yeah. A, a song I love, and I'm glad that I'm going to be playing it right now, Nani Nina. Oh, wow. I love that song. Um, that song touches me. And I connect with that song. Right. Talk to me about the making of it. I, I always wanna. I always imagine what happened in studio, or what inspired the song, and what was the making of the song like. So paint that picture for me. So what I did was I walked into the studio. I already had the chorus. Um, we arranged the song. Mm. So verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, all the key changes, without me even knowing what I'm gonna sing about. In terms of in terms of wow um, the verses wow and then I just got into the booth asked them to switch off the lights and I just started singing and this came out this came out absolutely beautiful one of my favorite Vusinova tracks Nani Nina all the time right all the time it's like it's the first time I'm singing it. All the time. It's got an emotional trigger for yeah. me. My parents. Yeah. 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 